is Jan Poskowski, the Lieutenant Governor of Education and Training. So, Jan, thank you for agreeing to be interviewed and post all over the internet. <laughs> now, I'd like to know a little bit about your history in Toastmasters and what you do right now. Very good. Well, I've been a member of Toastmasters since 1993. And when I first started out, I was on the slow track. I had no interest in doing anything more than being active in my club. And then I found out that all the things that the district had to offer, and that there was a whole other world out there beyond the club. So I started getting more involved in the district and in leadership and found a whole new world. I just love it. As a lieutenant governor of education and training, obviously I take care of education and training. And this is for the district. It also impacts the world. We make sure that the officers are properly trained so they can fulfill their goals. So they know what they're doing when they get to that office. And so we offer training twice a year, right before each of the six month terms. In addition to that, I make sure that we have proper educational presenters for our various conferences, and we established the TLI, the Toastmaster Leadership Institute, throughout the district. So you helped arrange the educational presenters for the day, the yes. keynoters for the day. So you worked a lot with Mary and Vicky. Yes, I did. Okay. And I guess what led, what leads drive you to be a leader in the district, would you say? One of the things is a matter of giving back. I know how much Toastmasters has done for me and how things improve my communication and leadership skills. And I want to give back to those who have not yet discovered the secret of Toastmasters. And I feel the more that we give, the more that we gain. And that's my purpose is to make sure that the Toastmasters vision and the benefits of Toastmasters are shared Okay, do you have any tips? Since you're the Lieutenant Governor of Education and Training, you're the like the biggest VPE we have. Do you have any tips for a VPE? For the VPE of the club? Or just any club officer, really. Do you have any just quick tips for us? One of the best tips that I can give to anyone is to read the manual that they're providing. Those manuals? Those manuals. These are, when someone becomes a club officer, they receive a manual, an exact outline of what they need to do to be effective in their job. And oftentimes we discover that people have not located their manuals or have <laughs> chosen to ignore them. A lot of the questions that they might have are in the manual. The answers are there. And one of the wonderful things, too, is all these manuals are available online at Toastmasters.org. They're in a PDF format, and they're searchable. So if you have a particular question about a subject, you can go in to that particular manual online, put the keyword in, and find the answer. And that's the officer's manual, not just the speech manual. No, so that's the those come separate. Manual. We're talking about the when you are the president, when you are the exactly. Okay. Yeah, those are definitely searchable. That's very cool. Very much. It's always nice to have a reference to go to if you well, what do I do if and I take that to another level is that anyone who's an area governor or a division governor can find the I don't know any of them like that. that. <laughs> They can find the, the answers to their questions in those district leadership manuals, which are also popular. And very dense as well. Yes. Okay. Searchable, though. Yes, they are searchable. Okay, one last thing. If you had to name a few things today at the spring conference that those at home didn't get to attend, what would they be? Make them jealous. Oh, wow. <laughs> Rory Baden blew us away with his presentation, his keynote, and his educational session were incredible. We also had Pamela McCallan, our international director, do presentations, and we had three concurrent presentations, three of which were going on right now, and earlier in the day, three others, that were on various subjects that were of benefit to every Toastmaster who was here. And I'm looking at the evaluation forms as they come in, and we are getting great scores. Oh, excellent. I'd like to hear that. Well, Jan, that's all I want to talk to you about for right now. Do you have any announcements you'd like to make to everybody? Well, there are a couple of announcements. One in particular is that we are having our Toastmasters Leadership Institute on December 5th at the EB Cape Center, and we're going to have a day of education. We'll have opportunities for officer trainings, but those are club officer trainings, either in the morning or the afternoon, and then in between, we're going to have educational sessions that will be led by local Toastmasters. Very cool. People can go to the District 56 website, which is toastmasters-d56.org, and find out all about it. All about it. Thank you, Jan. I really appreciate your time here, and I hope you become an internet superstar. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We'll get more interviews later. Bye-bye.